Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm going to try to make this really quick and efficient. Uh, this is the Special Operations Mill Sims, uh, how to set up your mods when you first join. Just to give you a little bit of background, if you're new to the group, uh, we mainly emulate the United States Special Operations Command soft forces, including Navy SEALs, uh, 75th Rangers, Raiders, ODAs, JSOC, and we might branch out into DevGuru and CAG for modern operations. Every once in a while we might simulate some CIA SAD activities. 90% um, of our operations revolve around the Navy SEALs in the Cold War era, mainly in the 1980s and 1990s. Uh, that's the type of gear that we use. The reason that we went with uh, SOCOM is so we can branch out into other units and do other things. Uh, variety is the spice of life, and so we like to uh, change it up every once in a while with different gear, different weapons, um, usually tactics or not to uh, strongly affect it. So let's get right into it. When you join the group, uh, first thing you want to do is submit an application and new applicants. Uh, there's a format already there for you. And then you want to go over to the mod pack. You go over to uh, pin messages if you want to get to the top. It's all the way at the top of this section. Click on this little pin here, go to jump, and you'll get to the very top. So we're going to go one through six, and I'll describe each one of these. All right, so number one, you want to click on this link uh, right here. That's going to take you over to our uh, SoCal Milsims mod pack. You can see all the mods are listed here, and you want to go ahead and subscribe to all. So right there. Typically, the download takes uh, probably takes me anywhere between two and three hours. Uh, it depends on your internet connection. But you want to make sure you have all of these uh, downloaded, and then we're going to activate them. All right, guys. So again, you know, don't forget to subscribe all right here, this button here, and that should begin the download process. So let's uh, activate them. The easiest way to do this is go side by side with your launcher and the uh, mod list here. All right. Uh, also, I need to mention that there are some optional mods here uh, that you are not required to have. Uh, they're client side only, uh, but they are highly recommended, uh, especially uh, things like Blast Core. Um, this one I don't personally use because it creates some issues when I'm hosting the server, but you might be okay with it. Uh, but there are some uh, optional ones down here. Uh, this Unsung Vietnam is only required for Vietnam missions, which we don't do very often, so uh, just keep that in mind. Alright, the easiest way to do this is side by side here, and then you just start with ACE. Alright, so you're going to activate ACE, ACE compatibility, RHS, GREF, um, US Armed Forces, uh, then you go to Advanced. So you want to make sure you have uh, Advanced uh, Weapon Mounting, Urban Repelling, Advanced Repelling advanced uh, towing. Right, and again this one's optional. So once you do that you want to go up here to the preset and go ahead and save as and add in something in there. I like to put um, you know, whatever month it is. Uh, 2020. I'm pretty sure I spelled January wrong there. But you get the point. 2020. Go ahead and select the check mark and you're good to go. All right, guys, as I'm loading uh, Arma in the background, uh, number step number three, download and install TeamSpeak. Uh, as of November 2019, T, uh, TFAR only works with version 3.21. So if you ever need to go back, there's this website here uh, where you can download the older versions. And uh, when you install TFAR, it'll tell you if, you're, you know, if it's compatible with the most current version. Usually, I don't touch it. I try not to upgrade unless um, TFAR you know prompts me and it, and it and it breaks so I just I leave it alone I don't do the TeamSpeak updates ever uh, until it breaks so that just keep that in mind TeamSpeak uh, server is only operational on Saturdays at uh, 2100 Eastern time okay uh, let's do step number four alright so you want to go over to this directory Steam Library Steam Apps Common and Arma 3 and you want to look for this iWorkshop folder or exclamation workshop uh, if you don't see it some people don't uh, sometimes people say that if the game's running, you won't see it, or you know, etc. 
you may have that issue. Um, you may have to go over here to Options, Change Folder and Search Options, go to View, and then Hidden Files and Folders, go Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Uh, if that doesn't work for you, just search for Hidden Files in the uh, Windows Search thing, and you should be able to find this setting. Alright, so once you're there, go into iWorkshop, go into the Ace folder, and go into Add-ons. And I actually just created a disabled folder here, and you want to go ahead and move these two files into this directory. The reason is, this is Ace AI, it interferes with our AI mods, and so we just want to remove it completely uh, so it's not uh, interacting. Alright, uh, so you can make a backup. You can get these files back by just uh, unsubscribing and resubscribing to ACE or simply dropping both of these back into the main directory, etc. Alright, uh, step number f uh, five. You want to go back to the uh, iWorkshop main folder, find the Task Force Radio uh, folder, go into add ons, and I'm sorry, not add ons, you go into TeamSpeak here and you want to go ahead and double click on that icon and install it uh, click on this install button here um, you may have to restart TeamSpeak if you have it running for it to actually uh, work. I already have it installed so I'm not going to do it and just keep in mind if there's a new version of Task Force Radio you may have to do this plug and install again Alright, the last step is uh, you need to change uh, something in settings and controls. You do have to be in game to actually do this. You can't be on the main menu. Uh, you can't be in anything like that. Just actually in game, player in game. Alright, so once you're in game, you want to go ahead and go into configure, add on options. I'm sorry, my fault. Configure, controls, configure add ons. Go down to the MCC uh, one, and this Commander Console, it should be P by default. Go ahead and click on that and delete. And click OK. You should have nothing there. Uh, that P is in Papa Key will just destroy uh, gameplay, and it's you just don't want it there. All right, so those are the uh, six steps for getting set up. If you have any questions, ask anybody in the Discord. We'll be more than happy to help you, and I hope to see you downrange.